A dog is a wonderful addition to any family, especially if you have children. Dogs teach responsibility and offer unconditional love. However, dogs are not toys, and if children treat them like playthings, there can be consequences like injuries or dog bites. It's easy to assume that if you bring a dog home as a puppy, they'll adapt to your way of living and bond with everyone in the family. While this is true, some breeds are less tolerant to certain human behaviors than others. If you're looking to bring a new puppy home, here are 12 dog breeds that are not best suited for families with kids. Number 12. Chihuahua Chihuahuas look harmless because of their small size. People assume that this breed is suitable for families with young children. However, it is quite the opposite. They tend to be very temperamental and attached to one person. Often, they aren't interested in being nice to anyone else. These little dogs rely on their mouths to protect them where their stature can't. They respond to stressful situations by yapping and sometimes biting when they feel the need to defend themselves. They are a major bite hazard for young children, especially if they feel like a child is intruding into their space. Generally, young children are not good at reading the signs that a dog is uncomfortable, leading to chihuahuas becoming more aggressive. Chihuahuas are very sensitive to rough handling because of their size. These dogs need a more relaxed environment and are better suited to adults or older children. Number 11. Akita Akitas are incredibly sweet and can be great family companions, but they are innately watchdogs. That means they have generations of instincts to serve as your family's protector. An Akita will react to anything they perceive as a threat and don't respond well to children outside the family. This can be problematic when your kids are on playdates with their friends. Akitas want to protect their families, which includes your children. They may perceive other kids coming over and roughhousing or squealing as a threat. If you are determined to get an Akita, keep in mind that it is better to have a puppy that is raised with children rather than expecting an adult dog to suddenly tolerate children's behavior. Also remember that some Akitas who grew up without children will not accept them easily. It might be better to avoid the risk and adopt a more child-friendly breed. Number 10. Alaskan Malamutes Alaskan Malamutes are ideal dogs for people who love the outdoors, but they can be difficult to train and get along with. Without enough physical exercise or challenging activities, they become boisterous and bored. Even Alaskan Malamute puppies are big and strong and tend to play very rough, which is not ideal when you have small kids around the house. Alaskan Malamutes are extremely possessive about their food, leading to dangerous situations if your child comes near while the dog is eating. They are also known for pulling and even breaking their leashes, so if you want a dog your child can walk with, an Alaskan Malamute should not be your first choice. Number 9. Australian Shepherd Australian Shepherds are natural herders, which is great if you have sheep, but not so great if you have young kids. Their herding instincts may cause them to try and bite the back of your children's heels or corner your kids while they're running around. Most Australian Shepherds can be taught to stop this behavior, but they are known to be stubborn dogs who are difficult to manage and train. They need to be watched carefully when around children who are running and playing. Australian Shepherds are also full of energy and require a lot of exercise and attention, which is often difficult in a household with little ones. Older children who can respectfully play for hours on end with this breed would be a much better fit. Number 8. Chow Chow Resisting a Chow Chow puppy is almost impossible. These little furry bears will steal your heart with their narrowed eyes and wrinkles. However, as adorable as they are, a Chow is not suited to thrive in a large family with young children. Chows take their loyalty to a whole new level. They don't get along well with kids, strangers or other pets. Even if they grow up with children in the household, the dog can be very standoffish with them. Chows do not like playful behavior if they aren't in the mood. If they are eating or taking a nap and a hyper child tries to play with them, screams, squeals or runs past, Chows can show aggression. Number 7. Greyhound Greyhounds are slender, calm and quiet dogs. They are the fastest breed in the world, but speed doesn't always mean a lot of energy. 
These dogs are like huge lizards and they prefer a quiet and peaceful nap over constant excitement and the hustle and bustle of a home with children. Too much noise and instability creates anxiety and stress in a greyhound. Being such a strong and fast runner, the greyhound is a hunting breed known for giving chase and may even run down your children, much like prey. Number 6. Rottweiler Rottweilers are extremely protective dogs. That sounds great, but it could backfire if you have young children at home. For example, a child who laughs and screams while playing may appear to be in danger to a Rottweiler. This means that Rottweilers may take unnecessary steps to protect the child from a friend or family member. Rottweilers are large dogs and can be playful and clumsy. They also tend to lean on people in an attempt to round them up. Rottweilers can become defensive against energetic children and can even attack a child who screams and runs away from them. Number 5. Vibrana. The Vibrana is a beautiful breed with bright eyes but is not particularly good with children. They were bred to hunt big game, a class of prey that, in terms of size, can look a lot like a child under 13. While this trait doesn't mean a Vibrana will constantly be on the hunt when they're at home, it does mean they're known to play hard with humans, especially if they are not getting enough exercise and attention. Vibranas require a defined routine and plenty of time to run, walk and play to perform at their best. This may not be easy to maintain if you are an active parent and it may mean that another dog breed may be better suited to your family. Number 4. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies are active dogs with an affinity for rough play. These strong dogs can accidentally harm a child even if they have good intentions. Huskies are also difficult to train because they are independent with a stubborn streak. They can be triggered by children who behave like prey, for example. They have retained wolf-like qualities in their appearance as well as the characteristics of natural protection and a willingness to respond to perceived threats. It's best to wait until your children are older and have more control over their own behavior before bringing a husky home. Number 3. Bull Mastiff A bull mastiff's size alone may be enough to deter parents from making this choice. This breed is also very protective and a child can reinforce this instinct of theirs. Bull Mastiffs have powerful nails, which are generally level with your toddler's face. A good tail wag and you've got a bad injury to deal with. These muscular dogs weigh a lot and can easily injure your small kids unintentionally. You might want to wait for your kids to gain some height before welcoming this big breed into your home. Number 2. Pekingese Like Chihuahuas, a Pekingese is a small breed of dog that relies on other methods to appear large and scary when threatened, including biting and barking. It does not take much to bring out these behaviours in them. The Pekingese breed does not respond well to poking, prodding and tail pulling. They tend to be possessive over food, toys, as well as their primary caregivers. They will compete for your attention and don't want to lose. If your child were to try and play with the dog or injure themselves and come running to hug you, a Pekingese might attack aggressively. Number 1. Shih Tzu Many reputable Shih Tzu breeders refuse to sell their puppies to families with young children. This breed loves to run and get under everyone's feet, tripping adults and children alike if they aren't careful enough. This potential risk of tripping can harm both the child and dog. When playing with a Shih Tzu puppy, extra care is needed. Experts often recommend that children play with the breed while only sitting on the floor. If you desperately want a Shih Tzu, adopt a more mature dog because they tend to mellow out after puppyhood.